darling Fumi Nation. How are you? <laughs> How are we? My name is Fumi De Salovold. For those of you that are stopping by for the very first time, you're so very welcome indeed. Are we living and loving the animal print, my darlings? This is for Michael Kors. Yeah, and this is the bag. Let me come out so that you can see what it looks like. Da -da -da -da. There we go. That's it, my darlings. Are we living and loving? And then just a simple black heel. A little tuby tuby. This is the bag. Boom, boom, boom. I love the animal print. I love this print. Love, 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 love. And I thought, why not? Why not, Fooms? Alrighty. We are having a meet and greet, my darlings, on the 21st of April. I cannot wait to see all of you, my darlings. Before I continue, the tickets are below this video. They are also pinned in the comment section. If you do not get your ticket and we hit capacity, guess what, my darlings? We have hit capacity. And I don't think that I will be doing London again for a while. Thank you so much to all of the sponsors. Juvia's Place, I live and I love you. I collabed with them twice and they have supported us every step of the way. I live and love you guys. We have the Laser Premier Skin Clinic. You're going to live and love. And that's where I get all of my lasers. And as you can see, I used to have like dark underarms. Yep, gone, absolutely gone. Bikini area looking fabulous we have lula cosmetics as well they are giving us all kinds of gorgeous treats healthy hair studio just look at and the hair is growing i don't know what i'm going to do with it because i have no intention whatsoever of cutting it this is as thick and as beautiful as anything i am so in love we have tarot collections for the jewelry you are being spoiled i'm telling you you're being so spoiled Sane. Sane is coming with the gorgeous Ankara wrapping paper. The best, the best, the best, the best, the best, the best. Gerard Cosmetics. Thank you so very much. Fumi Nation is so, so grateful indeed. Darlings, the food, the dessert, the treats, the juices, the drinks, live and love. It's going to be at the wonderful Novotel Hotel here in central London. We also have Fumi Nation members that are traveling from Canada, they're traveling from New York, and you are able to stay at the hotel and just trickle down and come to the event. You're going to live and love. We also have Wardrobe of Beauty. Wardrobe of Beauty did my brows. Wardrobe of Beauty took away all of my skin tags, the flawlessness of it all, beyond and beyond. We also have Never Knowingly Boring, and she's coming with her fabulous hat, darling. Oh, G. never knowingly boring how fabulous how fabulous is this she's going to be there her hats are amazing amazing we have willing health colonic hydrotherapy <sighs> detox 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 it cleanses you out for men and women so our fumination brothers our fumination sisters go right ahead and treat yourself we also have doctors and we're going to talk about fertility we're going to talk about menopause we're going to talk about health we're going to talk about wellness we have the wonderful cc honey set and she's the clinical office administrator in the gynecology department we're going to have a wonderful speech with her and we are also going to talk about how you can start and build your business we have dancing we have music we have cake it's going to be absolutely epic and i cannot wait it's a countdown <laughs> i am living and loving my fitness with you guys absolutely fantastic somebody in the comments told me for me when you say join sometimes it does not come up onto their phone they have to get to their computers go to the computer website go to the website on your computers and there you'll be able to join when you join because i'm out here every single day working out with you guys it's not the fumi nation it is live with fumi yes my darlings every day i worked out with you guys for 80 minutes today i'm living and loving i'm living because you guys are fantastic that is where you join go to your desktop and you join from there and the join button is there okay so why my darlings are we here 
we are here because Jeezy Baby and our beautiful Jeannie Mai have not, the situation is getting uglier. Yeah, 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 yeah. To the point that GC now wants custody of daughter Monaco, claiming that Ginny Mai ain't around. That is what, what? That is exactly what TMZ is telling us. OMG. So let us read and then I will tell you what I am thinking. GC is now asking for primary custody of his and Ginny Mai's young daughter amid their divorce claiming Jeannie isn't even taking care of their kid herself. The rapper just filed new legal docs obtained by TMZ asking a judge to toss out the current custody and parenting time arrangement he hashed out in mediation with his estranged wife and requesting that his daughter be allowed to live with him full time. Jeezy says he initially agreed to move to the basement amid their breakup. However, he says Jeannie later moved out of the family home and took their little girl with her. Jeezy alleges Jeannie has since tasked her brother and mother with the majority of the care of the two-year-old Monaco, claiming Jeannie's extensive travel schedule isn't good for their kid and adding that Jeannie has withheld his parenting time with the child for nearly two months. In the docs documents, Jeezy says the child would have more stability if he had primary physical custody. And that's what he's now asking a judge to enforce. This development comes after four months after Jeannie hit back at Jeezy for claiming she was gatekeeping Monaco from him. At the time, Jeannie said she had accommodated all of Jeezy's visitation requests, including time over the holidays. She did cite safety as a concern the last time around, alleging Jeezy had unsecured in his home before, which Jeezy insists is not the case. He says Monaco is never left unmonitored and that his firearms are always secured and safely away from the child. The custody issue seems to be one of several hot button topics for the former flames amid their contentious divorce. Remember, Jeannie previously suggested Jeezy might have been unfaithful during their marriage. Okay. What do I think? This is what happens when COVID was a time when everybody felt nervous. Everybody felt scared. Everybody felt, oh my God, you know, and you were hooking up with somebody out of pure convenience of not wanting to be alone. Secondly, Jeannie is a single mom. It would be so nice if Jeezy and Jeannie could come together and behave in a way that benefits Monaco, that has nothing to do with how they feel but it's becoming personal. That's how I look at it. And I say that on both sides. If you are gatekeeping Monaco for two months from Jeezy, of course he's going to be upset. Absolutely he's going to be upset. You cannot do that. Jeezy, you already knew what kind of world, what kind of job Jeannie Mai had. You knew that. And you went ahead and you still had a child with her. She's a single mom now, so she has to hustle. So where she has the brother and the mother, they have taken your place because it happens in this household. When I go on tour, when I go to New York, who do you think is taking care of Adrian? Am I with Adrian? I will not be with Adrian. The father will be with Adrian. If Ula is not there, who do you think will be here? It will be my mom, it will be my dad, it will be my brother, it will be my sister, it will be Christina. Yes, because mama got to go out here in these streets and I got to make the coin so that I can take care of him. So I can pay for the school fees, so I can pay for the food, so I can pay for the nanny and this and that and so forth. My job now is now intentional. Where I could have thought I could relax, I can't because I'm a single mom and I don't know what kind of coin you are willing to give me as opposed to what I'm fighting for. 
So for you to say that she is not available and the mother and the brother are there, that's because they've taken your place. That's because you are no longer there. That's because the two of you cannot get along, sit down like adults and say, you know what, let's put our feelings aside. What is best for Monaco? We heard what the court say, but you and I both, if there's one thing, we both love our daughter. We both love our child. Do you want to take her? I'm going on this trip, yada, yada, yada. Can you take her while I go on this? Because you would have done that in the marriage. For you now to say you're going to have sole custody, what happens when you've got to disappear for a month or two, even two weeks? Monaco is not a toy. She's a child. And she's a human being and she needs both parents. That's what gives her the foundation. That's what gives her the confidence. That is what she will need when she goes to school. And she doesn't feel inadequate in any way because her parents no longer live underneath the same roof. But she will when you begin to behave like this. That is what is important. There's another influencer. Uh, Italian. She has two beautiful children. Her wedding was phenomenal and the guy like has tattoos or something. They've broken up. Now the guy, ex-husband, doesn't want the children on social media. I understand if you don't want your children on social media. The situation is that when you were with your wife and the children, they were on social media every day. It becomes bitter. You become different people and you want to hurt each other and you use the children back and forth but the children will grow monaco will be two for only 12 months three four five six seven children have no filter they will ask you all of the questions why this why that gc i want you to take your time catch a breath and know what you're doing to monaco not genie what you're doing to Monaco because you know Jeannie is going to put up a fight. Don't build a fight out of this. This beautiful, beautiful little child should get a chance at happiness. Because that is what a lot of children that are a product of divorced parents talk about. It was always a fight. It was back and forth, back and forth, this, that. I have to side with him. I have to side with her. I have to go here. I have to go there. It's so funny because Megan, the Duchess, she made a comment that struck me. I don't know why it struck me, but it did. She said that she had two homes. She had two beds. She had two of this, two of that. She only wishes that she had two of me because she was so divided stretched here stretched there she was going back and forth with no stability and it made a lot of sense it made a lot of sense and you're going to do this with monaco thinking you're doing the right thing no you might be doing the right thing but you're not doing what is right speak to genie the way the two of you broke up I'm under the impression that Jeannie really didn't know, didn't understand, or just got it from left field because she was out here in these Instagram streets pushing your book. Or maybe she did know, but that was for us, you know, the facade. It didn't end nicely. Jeezy, ask Jeannie out for dinner. Come into town, say, Jeannie, you know what? Let's go to a public place. Let's have some dinner. And you sit down and you talk. And if you cannot talk, have a mediator. I'm not talking about the justice system right here. I'm just talking about having a mediator. And find out where she's coming from. And see how you can make the situation better for Monaco. Make it better for Monaco. And put your own grievances aside. You said that you would live in the basement and she moved out with the daughter because the house is toxic. Because that air is the worst thing. It's like a prison. You want to be home where you're free. When I'm home, I'm free with Adrian, with Ula. Adrian is jumping on the bed. Ula is doing something. I'm just lying down. It's a wonderful time. Just us three. I love it. 
I can't, I'm always eager to go home. I'm always eager to come home. I call Ula, Ula, where are you? Are you almost home? Sometimes we'll meet up, bring Adrian home. We love being together. I cannot imagine if Ula is in the basement and just takes Adrian and I'm upstairs somewhere. It's not a pleasant or an ideal place to live. It's not, Jeezy. I'm not siding Jeannie in any way, shape or form. I don't think that she had the right to get up and take the baby like that. I don't think so. And I don't know why you allowed her to do that also. But this is what divorce looks like. It is never a pleasant situation. But I have seen, I have seen some couples who have really been mature about the shebang and come out the other end and everybody is actually better for it. And you co-parent and it works okay. I saw a father walk his daughter down the aisle and as he was walking the daughter down the aisle, he grabbed the stepfather and they both walked the daughter down the aisle. It's maturity. It's maturity. Keep the personal out of it. Because as he was walking his daughter, he more than understood this was her special day. This was her day. Monaco did not bring herself here. You brought her here. You created her out of love. And you are no longer in love with the mother. And you don't want to be with the mother anymore. For whatever reason. Are you not happy at least that it is the mother and the brother, her uncle and her grandmother taking care of this child and not just, you know, random nannies or whatever? Are you not happy about that? Isn't this the same family that you talked about? Oh, I love her family. I love the family unit. I never had this family unit. I didn't. I saw my father maybe a few times and that was it. My mother on her deathbed didn't want to even take any accountability about her putting, you know, the do that to, to your head because you didn't want to go to school or something are you not happy that at least Jeannie has family stability that's taking care of Monaco and you want to take her from there and bring her to a home where you safely have your put away I don't want them in the house how about that Adrian is tall he opens doors knobs he's curious constantly children are like that think about what you're doing that's all I can say. Think about what you are doing and think about what is the best for Monaco. That's it. Adrian slept with me. From the second he was born, he was with me. He didn't sleep in his cot. He was with me. That's a mother bond. On top of which, she's out here in the streets because she's a single mom. She's still got to take care of the bills. Darlings, do not forget to like, to subscribe, hit the notification button, my loves, and I will see you what? I'll see you sooner than later. <laughs>